there is a big sunnah which most people miss out. Because there's a whole way of drinking water. Now, I'm going to have to do this here with an invisible um, glass. Okay? Invisible glass because I don't have a glass here today. Now, imagine. Okay, I've got an invisible glass here. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Now, what I do is I take... These are all the different sunnahs. One thing is that you, you must be sitting down. That's one of the sunnahs. Of course, in certain sunnahs, it says that he was standing up and drinking. So, it's not the end of the world if somebody stands up and drinks. Okay? Because there are certain ahadith that say that he was standing while he was drinking. Some have said that's specific to Zamzam only and some have said no. It's, it's without Zamzam as well. He, was, he, he also, you know, there are narrations to say he was standing. Uh, sallallahu alayhi wa So anyway, you take the utensil, okay? You say Bismillah. And when you take it to your mouth, you take a sip, okay? Fill, fill your, you know, part of your mouth, okay? Now you gulp it down fine. And what you do then is you move the utensil away from your mouth. It's a separate sunnah. And you breathe. Okay, then take a second one. This time, fill the mouth up if you want to with one gulp of water. Move the utensil and then gulp it down. And then breathe. Now this breathing thing is actually... In the ahadith, where the Prophet ﷺ said, فَأَبِنِ الْقَدَحْ إِذَنْ عَنْ فِيك He told the Sahabi, he said, look, you know, don't breathe straight into the cup again or your utensil again. He said, remove the utensil and then, you know, to breathe in between. Because what it does is, when you do it in sips like this, there's three sips of sunnah. So if you take the third one, and, and if the third one gets, you know, the first one's supposed to be smaller than the other two, and the last one is supposed to be the largest gulp that you take in. But in between each one, you breathe. What that does is that it opens the right part in your body to tell the body that there's drink coming in. So it opens it, it takes the drink in with the food. Right? Then it waits again, you, you, you take another gulp and you breathe, it opens down there and it takes it in the right place. Okay? You do a third time, it takes it in the right place. If you do this like a camel, if you take the thing, I'm going, goom, 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 goom. All right? You take it like a camel. By the time it goes to the bottom, it hasn't made its choice which one to open. So it'll open the one that will take it straight to the bladder. And that's why people sometimes feel that I've drunk a lot, but it's like I'm going to the, I'm going to the toilet a lot. Why you're going to the toilet a lot is because you're not doing the sunnah of the Prophet from drinking. You're supposed to take a gulp. Wait. Breathe in between, take another one. Breathe in between, take another one. Each time removing the utensil from your, from your mouth. This is the full sunnah of taking the water in. And you'll find another thing is, when you do it in that manner, you'll know exactly the amount of water you're supposed to take. As opposed to gulping like, gun, 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 because your body can't tell you when you've had enough. So you just had it on And then you kind of feel like, you know what, I just drunk a bit too much. You know, like, a bit too much. Because you're supposed to give yourself, you know, a message. Your body's supposed to give you a message how much you've actually drunk. And that's the best way for you to communicate with your body. And your body will communicate with you in terms of how much it actually needs. And if you drink, that, drink like that, you would have seen the amount of food in your plate that you had and the amount of drink that you took will probably be the equal. Probably be equal by the time you finish your food and the drink you've taken. That amount of food and that amount of water will probably be equal and you leave a bit of space extra, that same amount you leave in your stomach as air, that's the sunnah finish. So you leave some space. It's not like by the time you finished eating, it's like, oh man, I can't move, man. I can't move. And you want to sit there and wait, you know, till, you know, burps come and burps come. Trying to, and some burps and some down there as well, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Gas and burps and gas and burps and fizz and whatever else coming out to try to release all the tension that you just put inside. There's no, there's no point of that because it's, it's really not good. Now